be in the Bel Air, um, getting ready to come up on this mud hole again that was so deep, you know, last time we came through here. It's even got more water in it now after all the rains that we've had, but, uh, they need to do something about this. This is, uh, <laughs> I mean, this thing is holding some water. This is probably the biggest hole around here. Days like this, uh, a 
whole lot in January. It's kind of a rare thing. I think by about middle of this coming week, it's supposed to turn off cold again. As I said before, this little section right here, you can get up a lot of speed on it. Um, all straight away here. I mean, I could go a lot faster than this, but, you know, sometimes, like I say, you know, you never know if you beat somebody head on, you don't want to pull with them. I don't want to collide with nobody. Know what something might run out in front of you either. Get ready to come up on the back side of the uh, cow shed now. And y'all seen that before, you know. So, uh, uh, look at that big crane flying over the water. <laughs> I don't know if y'all make that out on camera or not, but it was a big egret or a crane, whatever you call them, a uh, waterfowl, you know, so to speak. It was, took off, it was right there, and just flew out that way. Yeah, nice little pond there, though. Here, their houses up at the end of this path, so be up in somebody's backyard. Try and ride over here by the cow shed, just kind of give you a close up look. Somebody keeps this mode pretty nice, though. It's good, it makes it look nice back here. the rest of the 128 path we'll go back down to get back on the railroad this section of the path is a little more uh, it's got a few more dips and tree roots in it I mean you can ride you can ride it moderately fast but not as fast as the other section you know where we had that long straightaway I guess between 10 and 15 miles an hour you can average through here. Uh -huh. It's a nice path though. I've always liked riding this. Well, like I said, it's about two miles in length from end to end, so pretty good little ride, you know, especially if you're on horseback and even even on the four-wheeler too, you know, but it doesn't really get boring to you, you know, because your scenery's good out here. You got trees around you and stuff. As I've said before, right over there is an old water hole that was uh, there for back when all this was cow pasture a long time ago. It was um, there to, uh, you know, for something for the cows to drink out of. It's not very deep at all. I mean, in fact, it's not hardly any water in it right now. Good path. You just get on it and cruise. You know, you got get up in a high gear and the engine's not laboring. Just ride right along.
ready to uh, come up on the railroad up here. A little brighter on this end, I guess, where the trees aren't as thick. It's kind of dark back up in there, though. Might need four wheel drive for that. And for the, those of you, I, I keep saying about barbed wire fence being everywhere out here. I, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but uh, it's out here. I mean, that, that's probably the most close-up view I've ever been able to give y'all. But um, just the remains of an old fence, you know. started from you know earlier pretty messy right here Maybe a wagon, I can't really tell. 